What's up, Ducks fans? We are on our way to Honda Center yet again for game four of this eight-game homestand that the Ducks are currently on. Um, we're coming off that awesome four to three win over St. Louis. Um, tonight, it doesn't get easier. We have another tough opponent. It is the Detroit Red Wings, and uh, they are definitely a familiar opponent, although not lately since their move to the Eastern Conference, but um, they're one of those teams that I don't like hosting because they just have bandwagon fans everywhere, and there are true Red Wings fans out there, I'm sure of it, but there are a lot of bandwagon fans, and every time the Red Wings are in town, it um, the fan ratio at Honda Center is not very fun. So, um, we got that to look forward to. A lot of Red Wings fans. Hopefully, hopefully we just won't have any in our um, in our immediate uh, vicinity. But um, they are 21, 13, and seven. So um, having a decent year and um, or a good year. And uh, like I said, they should be tough. Um, as for us, we are 17, 16, and seven. So. 5-1-1 uh, in our last seven, as I said last video, so we're trying to build on that, and, um, yeah, so, um, we, uh, yeah, the Red Wings, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I needed to say about them, but I think that's about it. I think the Ducks are going to win the game, um, 3-2. to two is my prediction, and I got my Bosch jersey on for good measure because uh, it's 2-0 this season, so Red Wings, I figured if I'm going to wear um, a 2-0 jersey here uh, soon, it should be a game like like Detroit that I I really want the Ducks to win, and I mean, the reason I really want the Ducks to win is because there's going to be a lot of Detroit fans there. It's not necessarily that I, I uh, have a vendetta against the Red Wings, especially now that they're in the Eastern Conference, but... Um, you know, when there's a lot of opposing fans in your building, you really want your team to win that much more because it's just kind of like, you know, you don't want to see them dance on your grave at your own arena, you know? So, um, yeah, so tonight is the uh, midpoint of the season. So game number 41 for the Ducks, and uh, it's pretty crazy that it's come up so fast. But um, right now, with 41 points, uh, should we lose tonight in regulation, we would be on pace for exactly one point per game, which would be 82 points, so um, hopefully we win tonight, though, so, I mean, obviously that's all just uh, a pace uh, number, it doesn't really mean much, but um, obviously I want us to win every game, so hopefully we win tonight just for that reason, uh, but yeah, uh, Detroit should be a fun game, should be uh, should be some interesting fan interactions, so uh, we'll see. Um, if anything gets ugly, but until then, you have my prediction, and I will talk to you after the game. Well, that was an annoying hockey game to watch, um, just because 40% of the crowd was uh, supporting the Red Wings, so just pretty much like we knew it would be. Um, just obviously makes it that much more annoying when, when we lose. Um, and that was something that I didn't really say before the game. I guess I'll get to that really quick. The game, we lost 2-1. to one. Um, They scored for 16 seconds into the game off of a uh, puck that deflected off of Hampus Lindholm, so that's always nice when that happens. And then uh, Corey Perry tied it. Uh, he's just having, he's, he's having a good season. I mean, he's Corey Perry, though, so he's having a Corey Perry season. Um, and then uh, with, like, less than four minutes left, Detroit got the game-winning goal. They won 2-1, to one, so... Um, we went six on five for a couple minutes, didn't play bad six on five, um, but had plenty of scoring chances tonight, could only get one goal, so, um, it's a game that we're becoming accustomed to seeing. Obviously, lately, um, it's not been the case, but in terms of the whole season, this is a kind of game that's, uh, been typical. Um, so... We're now two and two on the homestand, and a lot of people have been calling this homestand, you know, eight game homestand. It's pivotal, you know, it's gonna determine whether or not we make the playoffs. And it seems like the Ducks are just content to do what we've done all season, which is just win half the games. And I don't think we're gonna come out of this homestand looking any different than we were coming in, which is right in the thick of the the third place spot in the Pacific. So uh, we'll probably end up going four and four. Um, 
And we're two and two right now, which obviously, I mean, with the schedule that that, that remains, uh, Ottawa, Dallas, the Kings, and Minnesota. To be honest with you, obviously, I would love to win more than two of those games, but I would be content going four and four on the homestand at this point, um, considering those are the teams that are left, um, and even the teams that we've already played: Toronto, Detroit, Winnipeg, and St. Louis. I mean, it's been a tough stretch. So, um, like I said, we lost two to one. Um, our top line got the only goal. It was Perry from Getzey and, and uh, Ricard Raquel. And uh, speaking of our top line, it's been taking a lot of abuse lately. And I don't know if it's just been because we um, have kind of had some games where the game gets away from us and we lose our composure. And like a lot of our, our, our stars um, just get, seem to get frustrated and commit penalties. And I don't know if it's just been the game plan of the other team, but they've really been targeting, especially Corey Perry. The last two games, I didn't mention this in my last video, against the Blues and now tonight against Detroit, um, Corey Perry was... Um, just taking a lot of a lot of abuse, a lot of extracurricular, you know, checks and stuff. So, um, so, uh, but he still got a goal tonight, so that was cool. Um, so anyway, getting to what I was talking about um, with it just being annoying, um, these kind of games. Um, when you have so many fans from the other team, obviously it's not fun to be at the game um, if if they win, uh, especially when you're at home. But it's just like Detroit fans, like something I said before the game, I was listening uh, to what I said and I was saying how, um, you know, I don't really have a vendetta against Detroit. And I kind of like, that was a little misleading because I am I do not like the Red Wings. I mean, and if I had to make a list of my least favorite teams in the NHL, um, it would be probably, um, it's hard to say for sure, but I'll, I'll tell you this, the Red Wings would be in the bottom three. Um, I don't know who I dislike more between Detroit and Dallas, and the Kings, and the Blackhawks. So maybe they'd be in the bottom four, but um, I, I just do not like the Red Wings. But what I really hate about the Red Wings more than the team is their fans, because, like, they're front runners. Like I was saying before the game, bandwagon fans, that is the nature of these people. Um, they're front runners, and they cheer for the teams that have, you know, really good a good team at the time, or just a lot of championships. And, you know, it's the same as New England Patriots fans. It's the same as... Um, LeBron James fans, like these type of people, this is who they are in real life. They're just front runners. They're annoying, um, just, you know, bandwagoners. And um, so the Detroit Red Wings themselves did not really piss me off tonight. Yeah, they beat us. That's upsetting. But the fans are just so obnoxious, so annoying. And it's like, look, you choose a team that's good. You choose a team that has a lot of championships. And then you act like you're surprised that they get wins. And it's just like, yeah. So I don't know. Um, it, it, it was annoying and, um, you know, hopefully I, I, I'm just glad they're in the Eastern conference. So good riddance. Um, uh, it was funny how all their fans were complaining, you know, how like, Oh, we would be, you know, the number two seed in the East and we would make the Stanley cup final every year if we were in the East when they were in the West. And, uh, then like the first year they were in the East, I think they were like the eighth seed, but, um, yeah, so good riddance, stay in the East, you know, um, the annoying, but what can you do? Ducks lose. We are 17, 17, and 7, so very, very, very mediocre. 41 games into the season, we are right on pace to be at a point per game, and uh, hopefully we have a better second half than, than we did first half. So, uh, next game, three days against the Ottawa Senators. Until then, go Ducks. See you later.